go over this one more time, Charlotte. Yes, ma'am. You went to the mailbox. You collected the mail. You brought it directly to me. You didn't drop anything. You didn't misplace anything. No, ma'am. Then where is my invitation, sir? I don't know, ma'am. <laughs> you don't know. I believe I don't, ma'am. You do know the invitation to which I refer? Mrs. Bush's luncheon for Princess Diana, ma'am. Aha. Uh -huh. So you do know. <laughs> Why hasn't it arrived? <laughs> guess, Charlotte. Take a guess. Maybe you weren't invited? <laughs> you know something. No, I don't. Yes, you do. <laughs> I know you people talk. No, we don't. What do you know, Charlotte? Nothing. Am I invited? I don't know, ma'am. Why wouldn't I be invited? No reason, ma'am. Then I must be invited. Well, I really don't know, ma'am. Well, I'll ask you one more time, Charlotte. Am I invited? Am I invited? Yes, yes, you're invited. You're invited. Of course I'm invited. <laughs> is running out the little fish are drowning in the sea but everything's okay that's what they tell me and i've got faith in the powers that be that's right one day we vote them in the next they're selling out something fun is going on it seems to me but they say good times are just around the corner And I believe in the powers that be Hey, we got to be brave in the land of the free To believe in the power that be Maggie, love that room you put me in. The ceiling is so low I had to lie on the floor to tease my hair. <laughs> Could you poof it up a little in the back, please? How can I put this as nicely as possible? <laughs> it's loathsome enough to have my husband's bastard daughter under my own roof, but I will not be her hair poofer. <laughs> well, dear. Gotcha. Oh, is that Princess Di? I love her. She must be very relieved that the boys got her ears. <laughs> well, I'll be sure to ask her. You know her? Well, as it happens, I <clears throat> will be attending a luncheon which the First Lady is giving for Princess Diana and 30 of Washington's most influential women. I'm back. <laughs> Nothing like a good run to get the old heart racing. Good morning, Margaret. Oh, Bill, you're damn. Morning, Alice. Good morning, Sophie. Oh, I feel great. What a glorious day. Oh, Bill, must every day be glorious? Oh, Margaret, step outside. The sky is an amazing blue. And the, there's a crisp bite in the air. And the children are laughing all the way to school. And that, to you, is a glorious day? <laughs> Still worried about that invitation, huh? Not really. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Now, you always do this, and the invitation always comes. Yes, I suppose you're right. Perhaps it'll be in today's mail. I'm sure it will. <sighs> Gotta go up and shower. Sophie, I will see you later at the office. Yeah, sure. See you at the office. <laughs> see you at the office. I like that. Gotta go now, Pop, but I'll see you at the office. <laughs> Later, Maggie. I gotta go to the office. <laughs> Hi, Charlie. How you doing this morning? Not so good. Okay. <laughs> About time. No, 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 no. Did you get it? 
make a wild guess said saying, nope. <laughs> you didn't get it? Oh, Mommy, how can they invite the most influential women in town and not include you? Well, exactly. I'm sure it's just a mix-up of some kind. You may already be a winner. <laughs> Caitlin, darling, be a good daughter and call the White House for Mummy. I'd do it myself, but it would make me seem eager. Uh, ask for Megan Quinn. She always takes my calls. And above all, be sure you do not sound obsequious. Mother, really? Hello? <laughs> Megan Quinn, please. Miss Quinn, I'm calling for Senator William Powers' wife. We hope we haven't been rude in neglecting to RSVP to the princess's luncheon, but... Oh, well, that explains it. Thank you. Well? Mommy? <laughs> Spit it out, Caitlin. <laughs> you're not on the list. You're not going. <laughs> <laughs> Very well. well. That's fine. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Charlotte. Clumsy me. Wait, Mummy. I don't know why I didn't think of this before. Theodore's mom is great friends with Barbara Bush. Really, Theodore? Well, uh, yes, but um, my, my mother doesn't like you. <laughs> and I don't like her. What has that got to do with anything? Caitlin, call her at once. Uh-uh. The woman scares me. Oh, she scares me, too. <laughs> Theodore, I have known you for over 12 years. In that time, have I ever asked you to do anything for me? Yes, you asked me to marry, you know... <laughs> <laughs> do it, Theodore. Do it, Theodore. It's easy for you to say, just do it, and I'll call her right up. It's probably, you know, talk to Hello, Mother. It's Theodore. <clears throat> How are you? I'm getting to it. For the luncheon with Princess Diana, my mother-in-law. Okie dokie. <laughs> I love... <laughs> well, Theodore, will she do it? What did she say? When pigs fly. <laughs> I'm doing everything that I can, Margaret. I've got the entire staff working on it. I know. I know. I'll call you just as soon as I hear anything. <laughs> Any luck? Bernie, Jordan Miller. The First Lady's luncheon for Princess Diana. I need one invitation. What'll it take? Uh-huh. 50-yard line. I think I can swing that. Hold on. Well... Not yet. Smitty, Jordan Miller. I need two skin season tickets, 50-yard line. What do you need? <coughs> Condo on the fairway? <laughs> Not a problem. Hold on. Okay, we're getting closer. <laughs> it's Jordan, Todd. One week, the condo at Pebble Beach. What'll it take? <laughs> what? You want a street? Are you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> okay, a street. Hold on. Damn. <laughs> Almost got it. Bernie's got his skins ticket. Smitty's got his golf. We just one. Ralph, it's Jordan. I know it's a bitch, but I need a street named after some guy's uncle, and he needs his answer now, and I'm holding my breath. Can do? <laughs> Can do! <laughs> Be right back. <laughs> Bernie, you got him. Two on the 50. You're going to be able to hear the bones crack. Thanks for the invitation. Smitty, get out your golf clubs. You got the condo. Thanks for the tickets. Todd, what's the old guy's name? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he got his street. Great. Thanks for the condo. We're in business. Ralph, the street will be named Sid Lewecki Way. <laughs> great, great, thanks. What? Oh, right, I forgot. What do you want? What? Oh, God. What? He wants an invitation to the lunch for Princess Diana. <laughs> well, Pierce, 
I'm trying, Grandma. <sighs> Pierce, what is the problem? Just punch up the guest list and enter my name. <laughs> I can't. Security's tight. How about the specs on the B-1 bomber? Oh. <laughs> Honestly, Pierce, your parents spent all that money on private school and this is the best you can do? I'm sorry, Grandma. I tried. You failed. I'm Ted. And that makes it all right? <laughs> Goodbye, Grandma. Hello, I'm home. Don't get up. <laughs> How's it going, kid? Don't ask. You leaving? As fast as my little legs can carry me. Hey, stick around. I'll show you how to make an egg cream. Nice talking to you, Margaret. <laughs> Mother, I'm so glad you're here. Look, look what I've got. An invitation to the lunchtime. I know it. I know it. I know it. <laughs> well, you know, his mother pulled some strings in there. <laughs> Oh, I, I must, I must tell you, Caitlin, there is no greater joy for a mother, and, and I wish this too for you with Pierce. There is no greater joy than when a child grows up to be a friend, a true best friend. Thank you, Mommy. I'll never forget this moment. <laughs> Let me see it. Uh, uh. I've already picked out the most smashing outfit. Uh, uh. You picked it out? Well, of course, I want you to see it before I go. Go? Caitlin, this is Mommy's invitation. No, it's mine. <laughs> oh, please. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, no. <laughs> it came to me, and I'm going. <laughs> well, all right, darling. Uh, if that's your final decision, but I, I, I do wish you'd consider one thing. All the other guests at the luncheon will be articulate, strong, accomplished women. <laughs> Don't you think you'll feel just a teensy bit Inadequate. <laughs> no, Mummy. You can try to tear me down all you like, but the invitation came to me and I'm going to go. But I'm your best friend. <laughs> so I'll call you the minute I get home and tell you all about it. <laughs> Sit down. Why don't you have a nice spicy fish ball? <laughs> Bill, just call them and tell them not to come. I will not sit across the dinner table from that thankless child. Margaret, we are a family, damn it. I am not going to let you ruin our weekly dinner because you and Caitlin had a tip about a luncheon. Now forget it. It's over. Perhaps. Hello, oh, I'm home. Don't get up. Oh. How does my girl like working on the hill so far? It is interesting as hell. You know, Pop, I never realized how many people it took to accomplish so little. <laughs> Isn't that remarkable? Percy, darling, <clears throat> here's an idea. Uh, your father, Pop, <laughs> always has a martini before dinner. It's it's sort of a family ritual. As Bill's illegitimate daughter, perhaps you'd like to make it for him. Hold it. I've seen this cartoon before. There's a puddle of water and electricity, and bang, my hair goes all frizzy. <laughs> Selfie. I'll chance it. <clears throat> Hi, Grandpa. Hey there, short stuff. Hi, Theodore. Hello, darling. Hello, Daddy. Mummy. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? <laughs> making a drink. You're making my daddy's martini. Well, Princess, you you can make the next one. No! It's my job! <laughs> no, it's Theodore! That's her job, yes, sir. <laughs> I was there. Mother, how could you? 
Caitlin, don't be so thin-skinned. After all, there are two daughters now. <laughs> oh, Margaret, you're good. I give you that. I can't believe you can be this cruel. I'm cruel. Every one of my friends will be at that luncheon. How can you not give me the invitation? Watch. Grandma, get sweat on plan to lead the school play. I never knew you had this mean streak. Mother, I got an A on my botany thesis. Really? I inherited it from you. I'm the Antichrist. <laughs> I refuse to stay here and listen to this insolence any longer. I will have a tray in my room. Don't bother, Mother. Parents, Theodore, we're leaving. Hold it. No one is going anywhere except into that dining room. Now, we get together once a week to enjoy one another. And that's what we're going to do. Now, oh, everyone, march. We're going to have a nice family dinner. Don't you think we should find a nice family first? <laughs> Uh, you were saying something about the Antichrist. <laughs> I was kidding, Grandpa. <laughs> and he did it so well, too, didn't he? <laughs> no potatoes, no potatoes. Caitlin has a teensy little eating disorder. I'm recovered, you know that. <laughs> I'll have potatoes. I love potatoes. None for me. Mommy. Is that how you're planning on eating at the luncheon? Won't that reflect well on us? At least I won't be glaringly absent. <laughs> Caitlin has difficulty with criticism. Mother has difficulty with feelings. She has none. Oh. Uh, Caitlin, Margaret, I am no longer asking. There's no fighting at the dinner table. Of course, dear. Sorry, Daddy. Theodore, tell us about your day. Well, thank God, it's almost over. That's nice. And, uh, how about you, Margaret? Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, the usual. I went shopping. I had my hair done and... Oh, yes, my daughter tore my heart out. May I have the salt? <laughs> your heart out. How can you tear out something you can't find? Oh. Caitlin, what a terrible thing to say. She is your mother. She deserves respect. Thank you, Bill. You see what I have to put up with from this selfish child. Well, maybe she wouldn't act like a child if you didn't treat her like one. And while we're on the subject, how come you're always putting her down? Uh, excuse me. Well, now, Margaret, I don't think I have ever heard you pay Caitlin a compliment. Yes, I have. No, you haven't, Mummy. That's not true. I always say you have lovely eyes. No, you don't. You say I have your eyes. <laughs> and they're lovely. <laughs> not listening. Do you know what it's like to look at your mother and always see disappointment in her face? Well, of course I... about mother when was the last time you hugged me oh no caitlin now we hug all the time we do hug me now mother i dare you <laughs> i'm not going to hug you because you dare me to you're not going to hug me because you can't Excuse me. Charlotte? Yes, ma'am. What time is it?
down at the luncheon and then get botulism. If you need anything, ma'am, I'll be upstairs doing, you know, made things. <laughs> oh, very kind. Charlotte? <laughs> Charlotte, you're my best friend. <laughs> Oh, well, <laughs> have you come to gloat or just admire the cutlery in my back? Neither. I wanted to say I'm sorry, not for what I said, but for the way things turned out. I see. And I wish you were going with me. It won't be the same ridiculing people without you. <laughs> oh, no. I'm sure you'll do just fine. You've come a long way. You're your own person now. Yes, I am. Thank you. <laughs> Mommy. Yes, dear? Do you like the suit? <laughs> it's stunning. I couldn't have picked a better one myself. Thank you, Mommy. <laughs> <laughs> Although the blue suit would have been more slimming. <laughs> oh, Bill, what are you doing home? Well, I knew you were feeling low, and I just thought you might like a little company for lunch. Well, yes. Yes, I would. What a very sweet idea. Uh, Bill, um... Bill, have I been a bad mother? Oh, Mark. No, no, really. I want to know. Have I been domineering? I, have I been self-involved, petty, judgmental? You... you really want to know? Oh, have I? Well, Margaret... <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> Richard Blade has the Hollywood news. Cinema, cinema, cinema is next here on Central. Cinema.